In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Western Digital My Passport Wireless Pro on the iPad with LumaFusion to edit video. Let's go! What's up everybody? Phil with Bull City Pictures here with another tutorial video for you. Today we're going to look at using your Western Digital My Passport Wireless Pro wireless hard drive with the LumaFusion application on your iPad. This is just something that LumaFusion added recently. It's a pretty nice integration actually, so you can take all the videos that you have transferred from your card onto this wireless hard drive and use them to edit your video. The first thing you need to do is just make sure you connect to the Wi-Fi on the Western Digital Wireless Pro. You can see it shows up here. And then once you're connected, just open up the LumaFusion Pro, which is a great video editing application. And there are a number of different ways that you can get video into LumaFusion. And normally you would copy over all of the files onto your iPad and then edit them here. What they've done with this integration is allow you to be able to just pick and choose the pieces of the videos that you want and then drag them down and it only copies over those pieces, which is really great. That saves you space on the hard drive of your iPad or on the storage of your iPad. So you can see now I have a My Passport here. So now you can see all the videos that are on that Western Digital hard drive. And basically all you need to do is just select a video, a clip, and you'll see it'll bring up a preview in that window. And you can play through it like you would normally if the video was on the hard drive, or sorry, on the storage of the iPad, but it's not. So you can scrub through it and you can pick your in and out point. So let's just say we want that to be the end point. Scrub over here. And we want that to be the out point. And basically you can just take and drag this video onto your timeline. And you'll see now that that video is being processed. There are some blue and green bars there that basically are telling you that it's not processed yet. But while it's doing that and it's downloading, you can see here that it's downloading one media clip. But while it's downloading, what I like to do is just go into the video and I'm going to change the color. I normally just change the color a little bit. So tap on the color and effects, look at the original, then we can change things about this. I'll bring up a little saturation. Bring down the highlights, add a little contrast, bring up the shadows a little bit, and you can see these changes being made here, and you can play through that to see the changes. So once you're done, you can bring it back, and now you can see that that clip has been downloaded, and you can see that there's a WAV file there instead of those blue and green bars. That means that that clip has been fully downloaded and you can play through the clip at this point. So basically you just move on to your next clip and you're going to be doing the same thing. So we can play through this or we can scrub and choose our in and out point. And one thing is sometimes it's just a little bit slow but that's just because the integration is going over Wi-Fi. And I did notice this is a new integration, so you're seeing an issue right now where it's telling me that it kind of lost the connection with the hard drive. So you might have to go back in. We'll go ahead and select another clip. And I'm, I'm sure that they'll fix that. So select my endpoint, select my out point. And now you can see that clip. And again, you can go and add color to that. One of the great things about LumaFusion is you can copy attributes. So when you make changes to this first clip for color, if you like them, you can copy them to the clipboard. And then for any other clips, let's, let's say we wanted to apply the same basic corrections to this one and go in and just paste whatever attributes you want. This time we're just going to do color. 
paste it over, and now you have those changes made on that particular clip. And again, now what it did, what it did was it downloaded just that portion of a clip onto the iPad, so you're saving hard drive space. So I really like this integration. That My Passport Pro goes with me pretty much everywhere when I'm traveling. It's a great travel companion. This is Phil with Bull City Pictures. Thank you so much for taking the time to view this video. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click on that bell icon, and that will allow you to be notified whenever we go live or have a new video. We'll see you again in the next video.